Hey guys, it's Monty. Welcome back to the channel. So today is a couple of project shares using the first couple of dies that I've played with um, from the Scrap Diva Designs May release. Um, I already did an unboxing sharing with you all the dies. Um, this one is going to be um, two dies that I've played with so far that I have things, you know, made for you to, sh to share with you. So I want to share those with you so you could be deciding what you want to get. Um, my goodness, this release is very, very cute. Lots of super fun things. So <clears throat> anyway, let's get started and let me show you what I made. So first up, um, this is the die I figured I would use first. As soon as I looked through them all, I went, okay, this will be my first one. It's this one. It's the Roller Skate Mini Album. I love it. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. So, I shared a picture of this on my Instagram. This is what I made. Okay. So, this isn't finished yet, um, but it's it would probably, it will be the, like the front page of a mini album. So, I had to, had to, had to pull out the all heart to be able to make what I want to make with this. So um, I have it all layered up with all heart um, papers and then a lot of the holographic um, crocodile paper stuff that I have in my stash. So I use that for the wheels and the little stopper and I use it for the laces too. I didn't put in the little holes for the, you know, like the lace holes. I just did the laces across. Um, I made mine a shaker, so right here I um, I took one of the pieces and cut out um, this section right here, and then it kind of cuts out these stripes, so I put back a couple of stripes in on top, um, and then left the rest blank so you could see all the shaker bits below, so I just have some pink and some like white and um, like silvery, you know, holographic type stars behind there. Um, I attached a eyelet right here and then I added on one of the um, you know one of the tassels from the collection and then I used some of my beads that I have purchased and some charms that I purchased and added on here got my little retro cassette there some beads got stars and then of course I had to attach a, another cute little roller skate charm to it and then on at the top here, I added a little row of um, tool that I thought looked pretty, just you know, sticking up here above the top of the skate. I have a cute little um, resin charm that's just just hooked on, uh, just attached with a uh, blue dot, so it can be taken off if I decide to do something else on the front there. And then I just have one of the foam um, you know, puppy stickers from the collection, and then some of the these stars come with the skate set. So I think it turned out gorgeous. So that's the first project I wanted to share with you. And then second up, I played with the 3D ribbon gift box, which looks like this. And if you notice, she has this new color of dyes. They're gorgeous. When I first opened them, I thought they were pink and I said, oh, how pretty pink. But I think they're actually, um, whatchamacallit, lilac color, a light purple because Erica loves purple, so yeah, I think that's what they are. The more I put it up against pink stuff, I'm going, oh, that's not pink, that's lilac. So yeah, I love them, very, very pretty. So this is a super easy die to put together, very fast and very easy. So let me show you what I made with this one so far. So for this one, I'm using the Retro Summer Collection from Simple Stories. So I made my cute little box and I took some you know, some of the sticker pieces and um, ephemera pieces and layered them up here and a little cabochon ice cream I had in my stash and then I put the um, ribbon through this hole I like the ribbon but the um, seam binding I just put through the hole and then I put velcro on to hold it closed and then this holds a good amount it's a really nice shaped um, bag box whatever you want to call it so I think it turned out really cute and super easy to put together 
So that's what I have created so far. So I just want to share those two with you. I'll be back with more projects as soon as I get more made. I'm being I'm a little behind. Um, my my neck has been hurting very bad. I have um, a fused neck. Um, I've already had two surgeries on. And uh, yeah, the pain uh, must have aggravated again. And the pain down my arm is just pain and numbness and pins and needles. And oh my gosh, nerve pain is awful. So anyway, it's uh, kind of slowed me down a little bit, but I'm working on it. So I want to share with you the first couple things that I got. Um, make sure to head over to um, Scrap Diva's website. Here it is, ScrapDivaDesigns.com. These will be, again, available May 1st, so you're going to want to jump right on it because I think you're going to go fast. Um, here's all of our social media. Make sure you follow the hashtag ScrapDivaDesigns for more inspiration. Um, I will come back on my um, unboxing video where, all, where I show you all the dies. Um, I will come back um, the eve of the 1st, and I will update that with all the links and my affiliate links and my discount code and all that for you guys so it's uh, very easy to find so anyway thank you so much for watching and i will be back soon thanks for watching bye bye